Hey, ready fish. It's still the 26th of March, 2018, and I had to show you this. I have to. I see this article. I mean, this is crazy. And, of course, this is what Washington Post, Democracy Dies in Darkness, Stormy Daniels, Donald Trump, and Shark Week. Now, when I saw that and all these together, I'll tell you, my spirit kind of leaped up a little bit. Because here we got sharks being spoken about very much. I mean, there's a lot of talk about sharks in this article. It's nothing but sharks. And there's more. Okay? Donald Trump, Mr. New York. Sharks represent an attack. They just do. It's a, it's, that's what it represents. An attack. Attack in New York. Stormy Daniels. I had done a study earlier, I don't know, a week or so ago, and it kind of got by me, about Stormy Daniels, but relating to Daniel, the prophet, the book of Daniel. And I found in chapter 7, verse 2, where he had a dream. The first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, he had a dream. And Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. The four winds, four, the winds, okay, wind, it could be spirit, but generally wind. We can take a look at these, a tempest, a whirlwind, uh, blast, air, air blast, and these are the definitions that I'm getting out of here. This is an air blast, a tempest, a whirlwind, okay? Winds out of the heaven, which is just, you know, the heaven. Uh, lofty, the sky, you know, where the clouds are, so forth. So the four winds of the heaven strove. Now, look at this, strove. Only one occurrence, to rush forth, strive. H1518, to gush forth as water. Okay, are you following me? Generally to issue, break forth, labor to bring forth, to come forth. Okay, gush forth as water. The four winds of heaven gushed forth as water upon the great sea. Great meaning captain, great lord, master, multitude, right? Increase. Plenteous, populous, okay? Rank, abound, great sea. Now look at this. This is where it really gets really freaky. Sea, sea. But look at H3220. Look down there. Locally, west. The South Sea. Let me bring this up a little closer so you can see it. Western, west side, westward. The populace of the West. The sea, the winds of the heaven, gushed like water upon the populous Western kingdom, essentially. The Western captain, the Western chief, lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what I am getting out of this. And it's not the first time I've had things put before me that bring my awareness greatly up pointing towards an attack in new york mr new york shark week and like i said it didn't stop there or else i may not have even been telling you this but another article in the daily news this is all right out there talking again about shark week and this is the episode they supposedly watched when they first met in 2007 and Trump talks about how he hates sharks. He wishes all sharks would die. This is what she said. And this is the episode they supposedly watched, was, which was about the USS Indianapolis, which was horrible. I mean, just horrible. Ran from 9-11, 9 to 11, of course, back in 2007. And this ship was on a secret mission to carry things for the atom bomb in Japan. And, and as soon as it was leaving, it's coming home or what have you from its mission, it coincidentally gets torpedoed and sunk. And it's, and all the sailors get chewed up by sharks. Okay. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. 1200 sailors sunk in 12 minutes. 
But look at this. I love this. 316 survived. That's pretty cool. But this is ridiculous. I have to show you this stuff. I do. The shark, the stormy Daniel thing, and Trump, Mr. New York. And just to put icing on the cake, you guys, check this out. This kid right here is Donald Trump the third. That's who that is. That's Donald Trump the second. And look what they just caught a few days ago. A 400, 500 pound shark. Okay? This doesn't happen every day, people. And you can't make this stuff up. There's just too much pointing towards, once again, in my spirit, this attack of whoever is pulling this off. It doesn't matter. It's coming upon the world, and it's just a matter of time, and you need Jesus Christ. You just do. I mean, I can't say it any plainer or clearer. You know, you need to have a love of the truth and to really seek it humbly. You really do. This is just off the hook. Look at, look at this, though. I just got to show you. This one was posted at 444. This one here about the... Indianapolis, right, was posted at 931, which is a 1313. That's what it is. 931, 13, 13, 31. You see where I'm coming from? And the uh, Donald Trump the third was at 913, 13, 13. <laughs> and updated at 18, 6, plus 6, plus 6. I just see this stuff, people. But this this one really did strike me. It did. It truly did. The four winds of heaven gush forth like water upon the great western <laughs> nation, essentially. I'm sorry. This is what I see. So I got to put it out to y'all. So pray up as always. You know, armor up. Keep looking up. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,